Well, hello there, YouTube. It's Saturday, January 14th, 2023. And in today's video, I'm gonna install the oil pump. That's right, we're finally gonna install the oil pump and the oil level sensor. That's sitting on the top there. I just wanna jump right into the video because I've got things to do today. All right, you guys? Well, before I do anything, I need to get the oil pump out. So I got this bucket here. I'll set that down there. All right, so while that thing is, is uh, drip drying, let's walk over here. Okay, so this is everything here that we're going to need. So this is the tensioner for the guide. And this is the long bolt and the two short bolt, 13 millimeters. The gear or sprocket, whatever you want to call it. Spring washer. Nut. Clip for, the, for this right here. This is the sensor. There's the part number for that. And in my previous video, I already talked about this and, you know, everything about this little thing here. But what I noticed is there was a little crack. So I just went ahead and just purchased a whole new thing. We have a new one. So let's set that aside. That's the one we're going to be using. Now I have some petroleum jelly. I'm going to be using that when I install the sensor for those O-rings. This has this little pin right here. This is the front. This with this indentation goes towards the, towards the pump. And then this little pin right here actually sits on the pump. So like I said, we've already talked about that in a previous video. All right. So I've already wiped it. <laughs> so there's nothing leaking out of it. Let's take it over to the, to the block. All right. So what we've got, this hole, this hole, and this hole. I think it's best to get started with this, like this. Put this on, this one hole here and just, just barely put it on so it's loose, okay? Okay, so now we've got that on there. And the next thing I wanna do is I wanna line up my sprocket on here. I wanna see where I am on, on the alignment. That's just about right. And I'm gonna set this off to the side. Now, before I do anything else, now I wanna put this in. It goes in right here, just like this. If you don't put this in right now, you're not gonna get it in later. All right, so now we have that in there. We'll just do that. And now we'll try to line this up on the sprocket. There's the sprocket. Let's just put the nut on there just for now. Just to hold it on there. So that's kind of what we've got at this point here. So this is loose, it can move around. Now I can push this where it needs to go. And then line this up over here, just like that there. This other one up right here. Now I'll just kind of give it a little bit of a hand. Now 
Nice. Let's line it up very nice. This one, this one, and that one is all set at, let's see, 25 Newton meters. Um, if anything, I'll go a little bit light. As Peter mentioned, it's 23 to 25 Newton meters for these 8.8 .8 Mercedes bolts. 10 pounds or 10 Newton meters to begin with, roughly. That's 10.5. If there's 10.5, and now this one here. Ten point five. It's twenty-five, but I'm like I said, if anything, I'll go a little bit light. Okay, well, I went to twenty-four point two. Twenty four point three on that one. And twenty four point two on that one. The sprocket is twenty eight Newton meters, as you can see. So we'll do that next. Twenty eight. That one there, I actually went to 20, there he is, 28.1. So it's just a little bit over. All right, chain feels good. Tensioner's on there right where it belongs. So that part's good. All right, so the next thing we're gonna be doing is putting our sensor on. now. I'm just gonna put this on here just because, you know, these little spacers right here, if you guys remember in my other video when I took it off, the spacer fell down. And so I'd like to prevent that from happening. So if it falls out, at least it should fall onto this instead of down inside, right? Just like that, all right. So here's the sensor. And this is where the, the wire comes out. So that's got to face over that way. We'll tighten that down later. Now, at least we got that. So now we can open this thing up. All right, so it'll come out here. So it's gonna be routed through here. I have a little bit of brake clean on this uh, special lint-free towel. And I just wanna clean it because you know there's Ceratec and all that's been in there. So we don't, I don't want it to interfere. Now I'll put a little bit of, little bit of petroleum jelly in there. Should be good. All right, so here it is. It's pretty straightforward. Uh-oh, I'm gonna have to move my crank to get that in. Oh, what a bummer. No way I'm gonna get past that. Hitting on that lobe of the crank shaft right there. See that? So I gotta turn it. All right, now that lobe, I think, is out of the way. I was not expecting that, so. There we go. Just like this. There we go. Lined up. 
So now it's pulled through. If you look right against here, there's a, a slot where this thing was gonna go. Uh, you see that, right? That's the direction it's gonna go. So it's gonna go in there just like this. Got it? Just like that. And then we'll push it down and then that locks it in. Now the next thing we have to do is this clip. See if I can pull it up. So I've put some Vaseline on here and I put some Vaseline here. And then this little clip's gotta go into that little hole. You see the shape of that hole and you see the shape of this? So they have to kind of go like that, just like this, and then pushed in. Now I'm scared to death of these plastic things because you know what ends up happening with plastic. So is there an easy way to do this? No, nope, you just push it and hope like heck it works. There. It's nice. From above, I don't know if you guys can see, but you can see that it's went through there. So that is exactly how that works. There's no torque specifications for this at all. Uh, this is the instructions, the manual, for the removal and installation of this oil level transmitter. And as you can see, again, no torque settings. So you're, you know, you gotta figure this all out on your own. So in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. Uh, but I went ahead and I put a little bit of lubrication right on the inside of this, some Vaseline or petroleum jelly. And we'll try to get this thing installed on that lip. That's basically all you got to do is just roll it around. There it is. Just like that. It's nice, it's on that ledge, it's not coming up. You see how that thing goes up and down? That's so when the, if the pan hits it, you know, that's why I was told you in that other video, when I took it apart, this was all hard. So this new one's nice and lubricated. And it's all the way around that whole edge, so that's installed. All right, let's torque these two little bolts here. Um, thank you, Peter. You know, he's a regular a contributor on the channel here. Um, but he, he mentioned that there's a supplemental data book that goes along with the manual. And it's all, only in German. It's the only way it's, it's written. There's no translation from what I understand. And there's a certain way that uh, it's all laid out so you can kind of find information such as torque settings in there when it's not listed in the general manual. So this, these little ones here are to be set at about five Newton meters. I actually have mine set to uh, about 4.7 Newton meters. So let's go ahead and see where we get here. I'm gonna just cinch it on each side first, kind of give it a something to work with. Here we go. Let's see what we get. There it is. All right. Now, one more thing I want to talk about. You saw how I installed this, but this morning I received an email and uh, the email mentioned this right here. You know, make sure that I put sealant on the O-ring of that plastic sensor there. And uh, I personally don't agree about putting sealant in there. You know, I know how O-rings work and I'm just, that's not how I did it. But I promise you guys that I would share things and uh, that I received from the master mechanic. And this is one of the things that uh, uh, was mentioned. And so there you go. It's not how I did it, obviously.
and not necessarily how you want to do it, but I want to share that information with you. So right now that completes the installation of the oil pump and the oil sensor, oil level sensor. So the next thing I'm going to be working on obviously is going to be that pan. I can't wait to put the pan on because I want to cover all this up. For now I'm going to bag it because I've got something I got to do with a bunch of guys today. So I, I've got to get moving on that. And uh, for now, I'll catch you guys on the next one.